In this problem, we're working again with exponents and order of operations, and there is a lot going on in this problem. I got stuff in parentheses, raised to a power, I have division, and I have addition. So let's follow the correct order of operations and take all of these items one step at a time. So I'm going to put an equal sign here. In my first parentheses, I'm going to focus first on 2 minus 1 third. So I have 2 is 2 over 1 minus 1 over 3 squared. I'm going to end up getting a common denominator and combining those fractions through subtraction. So I have division here. And then in my second set of fractions, I am going to convert each one to a denominator over 12, or a denominator of 12, I should say. So I'm going to multiply the first fraction, top and bottom, by 3 and the second fraction, top and bottom by 2. So I'm kind of doing two things at once, but focusing on what's inside each of the parentheses first. So let's simplify the first set. Not really simplify, we still need to change that to a common denominator of 3. So the denominator on the first one, I need to do 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6. So I have 6 thirds minus 1 third with that first set of parentheses. Then my second set of parentheses now, I've got 3 twelfths plus 2 twelfths. So I'm going to be able to combine everything very nicely. So let's scoot down here. So I have 6 thirds minus 1 third. That's going to be 5 thirds. And I am raising all of that to the second power. Divided by, I have 3 twelfths plus 2 twelfths, which is 5 twelfths. So again, order of operations tells us to do exponents before division. So 5 thirds squared is 5 thirds times 5 thirds, which is 25 over 9. And I'm going to change my division to multiplication now and take the reciprocal of the second fraction, which will be 12 over 5. I'm going to keep going here looking for common factors in the numerator and denominator. I'm going to write 5 times 5 in the numerator and 3 times 3 in the denominator for the first fraction. In the second fraction, I'm going to write 3 times 4 in the numerator. And then I'm just going to leave 5. Really, it could be 5 times 1 in the denominator. So common factor 5 in the top and bottom common factor of 3 in the top and bottom. So if those are gone, let's multiply what's left. We have 5 times 4 is 20 divided by <clears throat> 3 times 1 is 3. That is my simplified improper fraction. To make a mixed number, 3 goes into 20 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. That leaves a remainder of 2 divided by 3, and that is my final mixed number result.